Hey YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark again, that's for art. And the other day in Dana's um, chat room, when we were all on Dana's channel, his live channel, uh, that is Dr. Dernford on Twitter, or uh, Beautiful Girl by Dana, that's where we were on his live chat. Miss Milky the Clown said, I have all this ambition, and I find the time, and how do I do it, or something like that. She made some comment about you get so much done. Well, this is how it works. It's 1 o'clock at night, Thursday night. I have the radio show at 8 o'clock. I finished work around 10.30. I got to work probably hardcore. I had a lot of stuff to do in the morning, and I had phone calls, but I mean actually sitting down doing work probably around noon. So I had to work for like probably eight hours. Actually, I ended up working until 9, which was good because... I got paid. I like that part. Uh, but I was just about to go to bed. I made a video because I, I, about this guy. And then I went online to, I don't know, leave a link for somebody. I wanted them to read that story, actually. My friend who thinks that I don't know what I'm talking about, the election fraud, that Hillary Clinton is a perfectly good person. And I've just been misled. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so then I see Shane Russell freaking post this little copy. I'm like, what the fuck? <clears throat> Written by Jay Sirmopolis. Sirmopolis. Mm -hmm. Freethoughtproject.com. Listen to this title. 65,000% spike in radiation outside New York. Nuclear plant is likely worse than Fukushima. Buchanan, New York. An uncontrolled radioactive flow from the Indian Point nuclear power plant continues leaking into groundwater, which leads to the Hudson River raising the specter of a Fukushima-like disaster only 25 miles away from New York City. I am reading this article right now before I go to bed because there might be people who can't read or who don't see it. A lot of people who come to YouTube are people who can't read easily. There's nothing wrong with that. Up until about 150 years ago, nobody was literate. Few people were literate. You don't have to beat yourself up. It's bullshit. You know how you learn how to read? Practice. If you don't practice, you read slower. Unless you practice a lot, and then you can, it's like language. I'm going to read this story, and I'm going to read that fucking paragraph again. Can you believe it? So, Jen, in December, please, when you can make a video, use portions of this, because what the fuck? We know that this is only going to be worse by December. I give you full permission. Wow. Buchanan, New York. An uncontrollable radioactive flow from the Indian Point nuclear power plant continues leaking into groundwater, which leads to the Hudson River. Raising the specter of a Fukushima-like disaster only 25 miles away from New York City. Kevin Finnegan's parents, if you hear this, you are welcome to come stay in my house, although it is more than humble. Your son was shocked. I don't think he's ever lived this poor. It was kind of funny to watch him deal with it. I'm not poor, but I'm just like, I don't have a lot of stuff, and I don't really want a lot of stuff. I guess it's the monk lifestyle. Not that I'm a monk. <laughs> the Indian, this is shocking. The in, this is why I have to stay up at 1 o'clock at night. I just saw this. And thank you, Shane Russell. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for being a human being. Oh, my God. You give me faith in white men. I swear to the Canadians, 
If it wasn't for them, I'd be writing off most white males. The Indian Point nuclear plant is located on the Hudson River, approximately 25 miles north of New York City. Serves the electrical needs of an estimated 2 million people. Who gives a fuck about electricity if you're poisoning people? Last month, while preparing a reactor for refueling, workers accidentally spilled some, con excuse me, contaminated water containing the radioactive hydrogen isotope tritium. Exactly. Causing a massive radiation spike in groundwater monitoring wells in one well's radioactivity increasing by as much as 65,000 percent. Say what? <laughs> <clears throat> and they're still operating this plant, people. They have not shut it down. They, are, they just gave them $500 million to keep it going. Let's just keep putting a fucking Band-Aid on it. You know what? They need the five. I mean, this is the bullshit. Those motherfuckers who are running that company take enough money. They siphon enough money out of that fucking company to fix the goddamn problem. Entergy, the Louisiana-based company that owns the plant, chalked up their readings to the fluctuations that can be expected as the material migrates. Oh, right. The material. Hmm. We don't know what that is. Material, it sounds like dirt, right? According to Antergy, the tritium-contaminated water spill was contained within the plant and never reached the Hudson or any other water source. Of course, we believe them. There is no impact to health or safety, Antergy spokesman Patricia Cagritas told RT. Patricia Cagritas, liar. Patricia Cagritas, liar. Patricia's cag read us, liar. And she knows she's lying. She knows she's lying. She knows she is lying. Of course, the tritium link, the tritium link is the ninth in just the past year, four of which were serious enough to shut down the reactors. But the most recent leak, however, according to an assessment by the New York Department of a state as part of its coastal zone management assessment contains a variety of radioactive elements such as strontium-90, cesium-137, cobalt-60, and nickel-63 and isn't limited to tritium contamination. Despite the assurances from Entergy, the area around Indian Point is a cancer cluster with the local rate of thyroid cancer, cancer rates registering at 66% higher than the national average, according to Joe Mangano, Executive Director of Radiation and Public Health Project, RPHP. Now, I can't believe this. This is actually the first time I'm reading this. I saw this online and printed it out and said, I'm going to read this. According to the report by RT, RPHP researchers compared the state and national cancer data from 1988 to 1982 with three other five-year periods, 1993 to 97. 1998 to 02 and 2003 to 2007. The results published in 09 show the cancer rates from 11% below the national average to 7% above that of the time span. Unexpected increases were detected in 19 out of Oh my god Unexpected increases were detected in 19 out of 20 major types of cancer. Thyroid cancer registered the biggest increase, going from 13% below the national average to 51% above. Motherfucker. Oh my God. 
Wow. And people are just doing nothing. They're drinking their tap water, showering in their unfiltered water, drinking wine from Spain and California, drinking the beer on the West Coast. Let's just keep doing what we're doing. You know, we need to, I mean, honestly, China is beginning, China and South America, they opened up the uranium mining in South America. You know what that means? Bye-bye fucking planet. These motherfuckers. Incredibly, Entergy completely rejects the notion that their plant's operation have caused an increase in cancer rates. Of course they have these motherfuckers. There is no relation whatsoever, Kikrat has claimed. When the study was conducted by RPHP, over 20 million people lived within a 50-mile radius of the nuclear plant. Everybody who lives near a nuclear plant is exposed to radiation. Some plants are worse than others, Mangano told RT. In the case of Indian Point, it is a very old plant, and there is a greater danger because of a large population living close by. Numerous environmental groups call the latest problem just a symptom of a much larger issue, and Governor Andrew Cuomo <coughs> is partnering with organizations like the Sierra Club. Oh, they did assure me they are anti-nuclear, although they didn't want to disclose their donors. River keepers have not asked for their donors. Hudson River Sloop Clearwater, an Indian Point Safe Energy Coalition, scenic cuts in positions for social responsibility and seeking the permit in seeking the permanent closure of the plant. Well, I'm glad all these groups are joining in, and actually, I hope they will stop taking money from the nuclear industry. The U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission sent a representative to the Indian Point plant. Neil Sheehan, oh. sorry folks, it's quite a long article, Neil Sheehan, who told NBC News that the NRC is continuing to renew the recent tritium leakage, okay, uh, okay, listen to this. We recently sent a radiation protection specialist to the plant to assess the situation and to learn more about what happened. He was assisted by our three resident inspectors assigned to the plant on a full-time basis, he wrote in an email to CBS. NRC is also currently reviewing Indian Point's renewal license, which would authorize it to continue for another 20 years. Do they think we'll have 20 years if they keep letting it go? Oh my god, I can't help but get pissed off, you guys. It's a disaster waiting to happen, and it should be shut down, Paul Galley, president of Riverkeeper, and watchdog organization dedicated to protecting the Hudson River, told CBS News. Fuck you. You have not. You should have had it fucking closed down right now. It's already a threat. It is a disaster. The good news is, advances in alternative power sources, grid management, and energy conservation have brought us to the day when the aging, unsafe Indian Point can't close. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. thank you, Master, thank you. Fuck you. Honestly, I lose my temper with these motherfuckers. Like, don't they have any fucking get-go and, like, let's get it done? Like... Fuck you while our kids are dying and they're fucking killing the planet. Oh, thank you for closing one or two plants down. He pointed out numerous sources of energy for the region, including 600 megawatts in transmission upgrades and another 500 megawatts throughout the energy savings energy through efficiency and renewable energy. Renewable energy. There will be enough power to keep the lights on our homes and hospitals, our businesses and schools, and every place that makes our communities healthy and vibrant. Oh, wow. We need all this electricity, don't we, folks? No, we don't. In fact, we could make our own candles. We could have candlelight. We could have a sustainable society. That is a possibility. U.S. Senator Chuck Schumer, Mr. fucking Wall Street fucking Democrat pig, has rejected calls for the immediate closure of the nuclear power plant. Of course he has. 
by the Cuomo and environmental groups saying they should first demonstrate how to replace the energy produced because he doesn't want to have to ever take a cold shower, which supplies 25% of the power to New York City areas. Fuck you, asshole. You're a fucking murderer. He also voted for the Iraq War. He has also voted for everything. He is one Mr. Mafia motherfucker. That's my opinion about Chuck Schumer. Okay, what does this say? I have told some of the environmental people, if you can show me a plan to figure out a way to replace the electricity, fine. But if you can't, it's going to raise electricity rates 30 or 40 percent, which is high enough to average people, and that's not the way to go. In the meantime, I have emphasized very strong safety, Schumer said. Fuck you, asshole. You could seriously, guys, could easily do something else. Whilst you could go solar right away, you guys could fucking build a whole, you could rebuild your whole entire infrastructure and make it fucking solar. Dumb fuck. While Schumer's sentiments are understandable, the reality is that sheer economic health costs of this plant's operation far exceeds the health, the savings in energy bills. With so many alternative sources of producing clean energy, the reason for keeping such a toxic plant operational is baffling. One can safely assume that there is some financial invested interest in keeping the plant running, you think? As always, simply follow the money. Oh, so he doesn't fucking tell us where to go. Well, it's not just the money. It's that these motherfuckers are miseducated. They don't fucking believe the tritium's going to really kill them. They're just dumb fucks. Oh, my God. I'm going to stop. I, you know what, you guys? I had to read that story in Ms. Milky the Clown. This is why I do it, because I don't know how people fucking sleep. And you know what? There's a lot of people who can't read that or don't read it. Look at the title and pass it on. But listen to that fucking story. God dang it. Ciao, you guys. Put your courage feet on. And you know what? If anybody's in New York, you call everybody that you know and tell them to shut that fucking plant down. And start planning to move away. You need a mass exodus east of the Mississippi. Like, I don't know where we're going to put everybody, but guess what? We have plenty of land on this planet. That's a lie that we don't. Put your courage feet on that poor little baby. Ciao.